The implantable pacemaker. For decades now, it's helped keep our tickers ticking. The pacemakers we currently use are called demand pacemakers, which means that the device is so smart that it is sitting and watching your own pulse or heartbeat. And if it's, the heart would stop or slow down, the pacemaker takes over right away and the patient does not notice any difference. For use in people with a slow heartbeat, the pacemaker uses low energy electrical pulses to overcome faulty signaling. The pacemaker is now also part of a defibrillator. All the defibrillators have a built-in pacemaker, but they're mainly used if the heart goes rapid at 200 beats per minute and the patient is going to collapse or pass out, the defibrillator gives a shock and the pacemaker is a backup. Keeping pace with pacemakers. Currently devices consist of a battery, generator, and wires or leads that connect to the heart. The latest technology now in testing in the U.S. is a wireless device. Recently pacemakers were introduced which would be wireless. There will not be a need of a wire and these are implanted through the groin and it is uh, placed inside the ventricle of the right side. Another step forward is the MRI-friendly pacemaker, one that's approved for diagnostic testing, making the device a safe choice for more people. Pacemakers have been around for more than 50 years and they have made a major change in the quality of life. A time-tested device standing the test of time. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.